Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley is calling the behavior of the opposition and the opposition leader irresponsible. On Tuesday, the opposition walked out of the parliament in protest of the Prime Minister's extended speaking time. Kimberly D'Souza tells us more. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley is denying that he hijacked the debate in the House of Representatives on Tuesday, which saw the MP for Diego Martin West speaking for two hours during his contribution on the bill for Tobago's autonomy. Dr. Rowley said a motion was put before the House. The leader of government business thought it was important enough for me as Prime Minister to say some more to the country on this matter and asked the House by way of a motion the motion was put to the floor. It was voted upon. And surprise, surprise, the government majority carried the motion. Dr. Rowley said opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bissessa is spreading misinformation as she claimed the bill is being gutted and important pieces are being removed. He said these untruths can lead to dissent and division among the people of Trinidad and Tobago. I want to tell the people of Tobago people of Trinidad and the people of the world that the two bills that came to the parliament one a bill to amend the constitution of Trinidad and Tobago to entrench in the constitution by special majority the existence in Tobago of an autonomous executive body remains in as it relates to the two weeks asked by some members to review the bill, Dr. Rowley said the Parliament will break for recess soon. Well, the Parliament goes on recess. The Parliament goes on recess next week. Well, and the bills are in committee, and they will remain in committee, alive. And we come back here in September. And those bills can die when the parliament dissolves at the end of the year, or we can ask that they be extended into the next term. Dr. Rowley said both bills, the Constitution Amendment Tobago Self-Government Bill 2020 and the Tobago Island Administration Bill 2021 will remain before a committee of the whole house. The bills require 31 votes to become law. Kimberly D'Souza, TDT News. The opposition will file a motion of no confidence in Speaker of the House, Bridget Anisette George. Opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bassessa at a media conference on Wednesday said the opposition MPs left the Parliament on Tuesday during the debate on the Tobago Self-Government Bill 2020 because of breaches of rules and practices of Parliament. We intend to file a motion of no confidence in the Speaker of the House of Representatives for flagrant breaches of the standing orders in the conduct of parliamentary business. The opposition leader also tore up a copy of the Tobago Self-Government Bill. She claimed the government has deleted very important provisions in the bill in order to get the bill passed with a simple majority. So having deleted all of those, the bill is a totally wasteless bill. There's nothing left in it, absolutely nothing left for the people of Tobago, except just the words, nothing, nothing, nothing. The opposition was absent from the lower house on Wednesday as government introduced the Tobago Island Government Bill 2021. It comes following their walkout on Tuesday while Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley was wrapping up debate on the Tobago Self-Government Bill. Sunilala tells us about what the Attorney General had to say about the opposition's absence. Where is the opposition of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago in promoting this desire? Attorney General Faris al rawi described it as a tragedy that the opposition was absent from the lower house to debate the critical bill for Tobago, which would see vast improvements for the island. He said it was not a pleasure to be in the chamber with just the government present. But he quickly criticized the opposition for making it seem as though the Tobago self-government bill just appeared out of nowhere noting that the bill was a product of two joint select committees, which was almost four years in the making. There was this argument presented that somehow this bill before us plopped out of the sky, came like manna from heaven, and that everybody was caught unawares, Madam Speaker, that is the furthest thing from the truth. 
Mr. Al Rawi was also critical of the leader of the opposition for not suggesting any recommendations to the bill, which they vocally rejected. But the member for Siparia, as the only senior counsel in the Parliament of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, in the House of Representatives and in the Senate, is never present and has not a single amendment to make. So I call upon the opposition to provide their recommendations in writing or in discussion. I call upon them to turn up. The House of Representatives was adjourned around 12 noon on Wednesday and is expected to reconvene on Friday where the finance bill will be presented. Sonolala, TTT News.